Hey beginners, Mrs. Flowers here. Um, congratulations, you are one step closer to using that bow. Um, if this exercise that we're going to do today in this video called Hip Hops goes really well for you, guaranteed by next week you're going to be playing the bow on the string. So far you've learned the pencil hold, the bow hold, how to tighten your bow, how to rosin your bow, and you've completed your rosin wraps on page 13 in your book, and you've been given the thumbs up to move on to the next step. Today, we're gonna to learn an exercise called hip hops. These are not in your book, so it's very important that you practice this with the video. It makes the video all that more important. Okay, so I'm gonna to demonstrate today with a violin, but this exercise can be applied to all of our string instruments. I'm gonna demonstrate a few, and then we're gonna talk about the rules that, are, uh, that you need to apply to get a successful hip hop. Basically, you're going to set your bow on a string and then you're going to pull the bow in the air and you're gonna hip or hop back and forth from the frog to almost the tip, not literally the tip, but an inch or two from the tip. And you're gonna go back and forth. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you excellent control of the bow. But let's talk about the rules that you need to apply. <clears throat> there are three basic ones. Number one, when you're doing a hip hop, you need to stay on one string. So I'm going to start with my, my very first string here. Okay. Once you pick a string, you stick with it. Um, so if you're thinking, I'm going to do this hip hop on my E string, don't let your bow bounce to another string. Number two, there's a very specific place in which the bow gets positioned. Let me just show you a little bit more up close on this instrument. Okay, so all the instruments have a bridge and an edge of a fingerboard, whether you play it like this or like this, right? Um, the bow gets placed between the bridge and the edge of the fingerboard right in the middle, right here where my finger is. If you place it too close to the bridge, it scratches and squeaks. And if you place it too close to the fingerboard, you don't get your best sound and you might accidentally touch two strings at the same time, which we don't want. This is where you're going to get your best sound, right in the center. You can also pretend for a moment that this bridge is the edge of a street. It's called the curb. And you have another one over here in the edge of your fingerboard. And you really only want to drive your car, which is the bow, um, right through the center. So in other words, you're staying in your lane on your street. If you're driving up here or bowing up here, you're perhaps driving on the grass um, instead of staying in the street. And if you get too close to the bridge, let's pretend you're just going to bump into a tree. That's rule number two. Now, rule number three, pulling the bow or hopping the bow back and forth, it needs to create a straight line. Let me show you what a straight line looks like. If you look at my bridge or the edge of my fingerboard in relation to the bow, they're parallel. So again, let's review. Stay on one string at a time. Play in that center or the magic spot or that sweet spot right in between the bridge and the fingerboard. And when you're drawing the bow or hopping the bow, um, it needs to make a straight line. So that being said, I'm going to start at the frog. That's my starting point. I'm going to pick up my bow and I'm going to draw a straight line in the air and place it back at the tip still on my E string, still on my first string. I pick it up and I go back to the same spot. So I'm always in the center between the bridge and the fingerboard and I'm drawing my bow in a parallel like manner. So your goal is to hit your target every single time. And you'll again, you'll notice I'm setting the bow down but I'm not drawing the bow, I'm picking it up, drawing it in the air and then placing it back down. I do that 10 times on each string. One, two, three, four. And you make sure the bow is settled, five, before you move on. Six, I'm trying really hard to make sure it doesn't bounce. Seven, like this. You don't wanna like throw it down. Nine, and 10. If you start to feel your bow hold slip, you wanna stop what you're doing, you wanna fix the bow hold, and then you may resume. Okay, so your homework this week 
is to do hip hops. You're going to do um, 10 times on each string. Rule number one, stay on one string at a time. Number two, make sure that you're in that magic spot, that sweet swap spot between the bridge and the fingerboard. Okay. And then number three, make sure you're drawing the bow in the air in a parallel like manner to the bridge. Good luck to you. And you do this and it's guaranteed that we'll be playing with the bow on the string next week. Beginners, good luck.